Hey guys, it's Simon here from One Deck Stop, and in this video we will have a look um, how you can sideload Android apps on your Windows Phone device if you have installed the latest Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview build which Microsoft has released. So stay tuned. So uh, first step we have to do is to enable the developer mode on your Windows 10 mobile device um, so that we can that we have the rights to install apps um, from another source. All you have to do therefore is to go to settings, update and security and there you have to go to four developers and enable developer mode, yes. and device discovery has to be turned on. So this is everything which you have to prepare on your phone in order to get um, Android apps on your Windows 10 mobile device. We will now switch over to the PC to show you the next steps. So back on the PC uh, we have to go through a few steps in order to sideload Android apps on your Windows 10 mobile device. Uh, be sure that you have Install the latest build of Windows 10 Mobile and you have enabled the developer settings on your phone. Um, afterwards you can have a look at our website where you can download um, the tool which allows you to sideload uh, Windows uh, Android apps on your Windows 10 Mobile device. You can also have a look at the source link. Um, but the page takes a few yeah, it takes some years to load. So uh, you can just click here on the download link and get the download. Click on download and it will take a few seconds. Afterwards you get an APK deployment archive uh, extracted. And you get this folder here. Uh, first of all what you have to do here is IP over USB installer needs to be installed and VC Redist x86 needs to be installed okay yeah it says repair because I've already installed this here on my PC okay once once this is done um, you can double click on the APK deployment uh, application here which starts the tool and you can click compare but first of all you have connect to connect your phone where you have installed the Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview and go to all settings where we have been f uh, before update and security and then for developers and inside these settings click on pair now it gives you a code or the key to pair uh, it says here S8 Q7 3. Then you can click on pair. Should be working now. Okay, now simply. Okay, as you can see. Um, it has successfully connected to my phone now. On the phone there is a showing number of paired devices 1 instead of 0. And in order to install Android apps on your phone now just uh, simply um, drag the downloaded Android APKs here inside the tool. I have now Fallout, Shelter and Snapchat and click on deploy all during this is deploying I can show you a website um, apk downloader is a pretty nice website where you can download all uh, android apks directly from the google play store if you click on any app just copy the link and paste it here generate download link and click here to download and it will download the APK file. 
deployment can take a few seconds. Okay, first app installed successfully and now we will see if Snapchat is working. Perfect, both apps successfully installed. Okay, now we can close the APK deployment tool and go back to the phone. So we are now back on the phone here after we have deployed successfully deployed um, two Android APKs on a Windows 10 mobile device. I have installed Snapchat and Fallout Shelter, uh, which are both uh, two very popular apps. Um, you will find it here in at the top of the app list under recently installed, but I've pinned these two apps to my start screen already, so they are right here at the bottom of my start screen. Uh, as you can see, you just can't see the difference between a Windows Phone app and the Android APK on your start screen, it fits perfectly here. Um, however, if you start an app, you will see a difference. Here is everything okay, it looks like Snapchat for Windows Phone. However, if you click on login or sign up, if you don't have an account yet, it will ask for Google Play services. So that's a problem uh, currently. There are apps in the Android App Store, Google Play Store, which do need uh, the Google Play services in order to work properly, properly. And Snapchat is one of them, unfortunately, so you can't use this app on your Windows 10 mobile device yet. Maybe um, Microsoft will add here something, a uh, workaround or something, so that you can just sideload it. Uh, second app I've downloaded was the Fallout Shelter app. So as you can see, it's starting off, but it gives an error message download failed because resources could not be found. Of course, it's also reason um, because it's an Android app and it's running on Windows 10 mobile. And yeah, unfortunately, you can run it here either this app here, but as you can see, Notifications are working for Android apps on Windows 10 Mobile on one hand and on the other hand there are apps which working very good on Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, you just have to find the right ones. You uh, Google Play Service are not supported and as you can see sometimes if apps are checking for updates for example at the startup um, they might not work on Windows 10 Mobile. Yeah, but um, this was a quick tutorial on how you can deploy Android apps on your Windows 10 mobile device. And yeah, just have a look at our website for a detailed um, for detailed instructions. And drop me a comment below if you have any questions about this tutorial or how you can deploy Android apps on your Windows 10 mobile device. Stay tuned and stay safe.